We're having a party for our, a little Christmas party for our neighbours. We're making, we're just having nibbles and stuff, like nothing too fancy, but we're going to make mince pies and we thought it would be quite fun to vlog it. I mentioned it in my little vlog earlier. We're being super lazy. I was going to literally make everything, hand make it, and then I realised that I couldn't be bothered. So we just bought some ready to roll pastry, but I, I don't know how easy it is to make pastry, I've never made it, but it's probably worth trying. And in fact this whole thing is super duper easy to make because we've basically bought all the ingredients. So I'm not really making mince pies, I'm assembling mince pies. We also got Waitrose Christmas mince meat, but obviously you can make this yourself as well. But to kind of jazz it up a bit, I am going to put ground almonds, like roll it into this pastry, which should make it taste a bit interesting, in a good way. So yeah, what you need is pastry, mince meat, obviously we've bought it but you can make it, almonds if you want to do what we're doing, we've just got ground almonds. An egg, because you'll need to, after you've assembled your mince pies, you'll need to give it a bit of a wash with some egg white. Um, rolling pin, and also I've got some caster sugar in here, which I'm going to sprinkle over the top. From those particular um, ready-made pastries, comes out as a perfect kind of rectangle. It's already rolled, so you could just cut kind of shapes out of that if you needed to but because I'm adding ground almonds in I just smushed it all up into a bowl um, and I'm just gonna kind of roll it out only a little bit and then pour some almonds in and then I'm just gonna keep doing that the almonds should kind of end up in the pastry somewhat I haven't even bothered with flour because it's already rolled so it's already like, you can see it's not sticking, it's already pretty pliable. Our kitchen is absolutely tiny, so it's quite difficult to do things, to do anything complicated. See, if you were an accomplished baker, you would probably have pastry cutters, um, sorry, cookie cutters. Um, See the problem with our kitchen? You just have to balance everything anyway. But we don't have those. It calls for some creative baking. It's a good upper body workout. Thanks. So, that was a genius idea, Oliver Lee Craft. Using this teacup as a cookie cutter. I almost want to do the other ones again. Although I kind of like how rusty they look. This obviously would have been a million percent easier if I didn't want to put the almonds in because you could just immediately cut out because it's already rolled. Mm. But that's right. What is your favourite Christmas food, Ollie? And sausages wrapped in bacon. Really? Yeah. That like pork on pork. <laughs> What if we don't have any this year? We'd be upset. There'll be uproar. I might write a letter. To my mum? No, to the Prime Minister. <laughs> it's a good idea. He will take me. He seems to think that he can solve a lot of things, so... <laughs> Maybe he could solve Tra that for me. Trash talking camera. We might have enough to make little... Make little stars for the top. Ugh. No, I can do it myself. This is so hard. Damn you. I can do this. Haha. -ha. Didn't need you, all of Craft. Right, so. Oh. oh, it smells so good. I could just literally just eat it. <laughs> okay, so obviously, this is the most tricky bit. I love mince meat, I absolutely love it. I think it's delicious. When I was little, um, I used to make um, little t tarts just like this with my nan, um, and we used to put lemon curd in them and jam, <gasps> and then a bit of desiccated coconut on top sometimes. Mm. Also, fun fact, my gran didn't have a toaster, so 
when we used to go down to hers, I always remember it being really, it felt really exotic to be using a grill to make toast. And she used to make crumpets for me in the grill. Um, mince pies are probably my favourite Christmas food. Yeah. I used to have a real obsession with like shop-bought ones, you know when they come on sale at Christmas, like mm -hmm. July or something. And then it's it was always buy two for Mr. Kipling ones for I don't know how much. I used to go mental on them. I would literally get through a couple of packs a week by myself. Jesus. I know. Like I just wouldn't have dinner, I'd just eat mince pies. It was out of control. What's your favourite thing about Christmas? My favourite thing about Christmas? Um, what's my favourite thing about Christmas? Um, Caroling in Canterbury. Love it. On Christmas Eve. That's brilliant. We're going to attempt to do an egg whitewash. Whitewash, but I can do it. <laughs> I messed up the separating, so what we're going to do instead is just an egg wash because that's good enough, right? Yeah, yeah. Nice people, yeah. yeah, exactly. So I'm just going to use my finger because we don't, and my hands are washed because we don't have any a nice like pastry brush, it just takes a bit longer. Boring. What's your favorite Christmas anthem? <laughs> well. This is kind of controversial because it's more of a Christmas number one than a Christmas anthem. In fact, it absolutely is a Christmas number one as opposed to a Christmas anthem. It's The Power of Love by Frankie Goes to Hollywood. I love that song. But I also love Stay Another Day by E17. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. How about you? Uh, Stay Another Day by E17. Stay now. Stay now. Um, and Carol of the Bells. <laughs> that was a rendition and a half. What are you hoping to get for Christmas, Ollie? Not really expecting anything this year, because my family's five pound limit. <laughs> um, yeah, that's quite a tough one. But you know what? This year, because we obviously haven't been working in offices, don't you think it's been a bit strange not to have Secret Santa and the usual kind of Christmas madness? Because basically, mm. Ollie and I, to give you a bit of background, used to work in retail, that's how we met. At Christmas, it's obviously the busiest time of the year for retailers, and because of that, everybody else would be winding down to Christmas and we would just get be kind of ramp our workload would be going mental and everyone gets really stressed. People start shouting about is there enough stock in store? What's it? Oh god. What promotion are you doing? Yeah. Same promotion. Why haven't the sales come through yet? Oh. People are shopping later this year. People are shopping later this year, yeah. <laughs> uh, what are the other retailers doing? Oh god, snore. So I'm I think we're both pretty happy we're not in that this year. Nice and more relaxed. And it for me it's the first time since I was 15, 14, that I haven't worked in retail at Christmas. Okay, so um, we've made these beautiful stars. <laughs> you know what? It's rustic, I think. Um, so these are all ready to go into the oven. So it is on 180, I believe. They're going to go in now for about 15 minutes. So mince pies smell amazing. They look kind of rustic. I quite like it. What we should do, technically, is put them on a wire rack, but clearly we don't have one of those. All I'm going to do is leave them here for about 10 minutes to cool and then Ollie and I will probably have one just to test that it's not poison. Are you happy with your mince pies? Yeah, I am. I'm going to try and make my own pastry probably on Saturday so that I, because we've got loads of mince meat left over. Um, so I'll film the results of that attempt as well. Happy Christmas!